Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So Samsung just announced their new Galaxy A6 2018 and the A6 Plus 2018. So in this video, I'm going to compare the major differences between these phones and starting off with the construction. So unlike the Galaxy A8 series, the A6 series are coming with fully aluminum bodies with rounded edges. The screen size is 6 inches on the Galaxy A6 Plus versus its 5.6 inches on the A6 and it's long on both handsets which Samsung calls the infinity display. So as for the overall size of these phones, the A6 is gonna be smaller than the Galaxy A6 Plus. As for the bezel size, they are gonna be just like the Galaxy A8 and the A8 Plus but they're not gonna be as thin as the Galaxy S9 and as for the weight, it's not confirmed yet for both handsets but they're not gonna be waiting too much. There are going to be on-screen control keys on both handsets for navigation and the fingerprint scanner is at the back and both also features facial recognition and on both the loudspeaker is going to be situated at the right side. For connectivity we are going to have USB type C board on both handsets along with the headphone jack and at last both unlike the Galaxy A8 series does not have any water protection. The display is gonna be Super AMOLED on both where the screen resolution is Full HD Plus on the A6 Plus versus its HD Plus 720p on the Galaxy A6. So there's gonna be a difference in the screen sharpness. Both handsets are gonna support Samsung's always on display and as for the screen protection, just like the Galaxy A8 series, Samsung did not mention this. As for the performance aspects and Samsung did not specify the chipsets right now but they did confirm the clock speeds and these two handsets are not coming with the same chipset as CPU clock speed is different and it's higher on the A6 plus means it's definitely gonna perform faster. And as for the RAM both handsets are coming with 3 and 4 gigabytes of RAM which is good. The storage options are gonna be 32 and 64 gigabytes on both handsets and it can be increased via micro SD card. Now coming to the camera and it's gonna be 16 megapixels on both handsets with very large aperture size means good low light images and I think this camera is gonna be the same as the Galaxy A8. On the A6 Plus the secondary sensor is 5 megapixels and it does not look to be telephoto or wide angle. It's just gonna be there for the background blur effect and we are gonna be able to edit this after the picture is taken. And for refocusing both handsets are gonna use face detection means it's also gonna be fast on these handsets. The video recording resolution should be 1080p on these handsets as Samsung did not specify this as well. And the A6 Plus is coming with octa-core 1.8 GHz CPU which looks to be the Snapdragon 450 which is gonna be the same chip as on the Motorola Moto G6. And the G6 is coming with 1080p video recording at 60fps. So I hope the A6 will get this feature too. The front camera on the A6 and the A6 Plus is not gonna be the same. The A6 is coming with 16 megapixels front camera compared to the 24 megapixels selfie camera on the A6 Plus. So the selfies are not gonna turn out the same on both handsets and they should be better on the A6 Plus as it's a good handset overall. At last for the battery and it's gonna be 3000 mAh on the A6 versus it's gonna be larger 3500 mAh on the A6 Plus. So longer backup time on the A6 Plus and as for the fast charging, it's also not confirmed right now but it should be the same as the A8 series which recharges from 0 to 100% in about 1 hour and 40 minutes. So this is it for this video guys, let me know what you guys think about both handsets and I will see you guys in my next video, peace out.